Hi everyone, this is Wolf Branch Homestead. Some of you may know that we have a local flea market booth, but we're getting ready to open a second one that will be more focused on arts, crafts, and woodworking. Now there are a few people up here already that have some paintings they've done themselves, but we wanted to offer something different. Paintings that were done by our farm animal friends, including our rescue animals, our livestock, things like that. So we found a really nice, safe way to do these paintings. So we started off with our blank white canvas. I asked my husband to choose a color or colors that would best suit our baby goat, Yusuke. He's four months old now and we wanted to make the first painting with him. So we took our canvas and put different shades of blue in little dots to help get started around the canvas. We put this inside of a bag where that we would safely be able to paint with him where he wouldn't get anything on his feet. And then we offered him treats to walk around on top of this canvas that was inside of the bag. And that way he would spread out the paint on the canvas in a design where he's walked around on it and kind of spread and mix those colors together. And this is what he turned up with. And it didn't go all the way across the canvas just because it was our first time trying one of these little paintings. And um, he was definitely more anxious to get out and go have a nice little browse out in the woods. But he enjoyed his snacks very much. So we made it a positive experience and also let him make our first painting. So this is Yusuke's little painting. We've got four different shades of blue. Now you can't really see his hoof print on here. Right there a little bit. But this was made by him stepping around in the paint, stepping on the canvas, again safely so he didn't get anything on his feet. And on the back, we've got the name of the painting and what day he painted it. And we hope to offer more of these at the booth and possibly even on Etsy if anyone was interested. Again, making sure that we positively reward them and keep them safe while making some really fun paintings with different colors. Our next one will be by Chicken Hawk, our little hen. So feel free to comment and let us know what colors you think might best suit our little chicken. And that way we'll kind of go the same route, probably a smaller canvas, and we'll put it inside of a bag with the different colors on there in little dots and let her run all across it and spread the paint out for us. And then we will also make sure to give her lots of yummy treats so that she enjoys her time. And probably quite a few little mealworms or some black soldier fly larvae just to really get her excited about it. After that, we'll probably move on to some paintings by our kitty cats and maybe even the other adult goats and see how that goes. We hope that you enjoy seeing our little painting that we have here. We can't wait to put this up at the flea market booth and see how it does. And again, if you're interested in possibly seeing these on Etsy, let us know. Do some different colorations, different canvases, but this was just a fun little experiment. And hopefully everyone has a wonderful day. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.